A mystic of the sands said something interesting about the possibility of in the moment of complete panic throwing an old lady from a lifeboat taking her place and then having to spend the rest of your life dealing with the fact that you did that well guilt is an internal struggle and I think that people sort of gloss over it because our ethical system uh, being essentially utilitarian is heavily um, guilt-based. If you watch all these things where the where contemporary morals are hammered out, i.e. Oprah, Dr. Phil, Jerry Springer, <laughs> where l at least what one might call popular morality, popular ideas of morality, CNN, Fox News, that kind of thing, where these things are worked out, at least in North America, that's where they where this takes place, I hasten to point out. I'm sure every country has their version of trash TV where popular morality expresses its outrage. Um, we tend to deify the state of guilt simply because of the utilitarian thrust of our society. That person did that. That horrible, evil person. Um, I remember when that guy, Castro, I think, when he locked all those women in the basement, that was the usual response, was how absolutely demonic that guy was. Um, what I would say is, why don't you examine the entire concept of guilt in that uh, in that context and see where it gets you? Um, I go back to I think it was either Sartre or Camus who said, "What happens if I commit a terrible deed and then I suffer complete amnesia soon afterwards? Did I actually do what? <laughs> well, did I do that deed anymore?" Or is there some sort of physical stuff that follows me in the form of guilt from before my attack of amnesia to afterwards? Whereas, you know, I still did it even though I have absolutely no recollection of it whatsoever. I have as much recollection of having done it as somebody who doesn't even have to deal with overcoming the amnesia to remember that they had, had done it. In other words, I do it, I suffer an attack of amnesia, I can remember nothing. I may as well have never done it as far as my own mind goes, but if somebody caught me on videotape, I don't think that my amnesia would help me a lot in court. Well, I suppose it might help me in court, but I don't think I'd, I'd get off scot-free. <laughs> um... It's an interesting thing, the way that we've deified guilt, that state of you actually did this and you cannot expunge it. You have a debt to be paid. Um, I think that in our society we're afraid to abandon this idea of guilt because we've got nothing to replace it with. <laughs> this sense of outrage has so um, suffused our entire civilization, our entire way of thinking that I don't think that even if we understood it for what it was, we would be able to suddenly abolish it. It's just, it's just so deep into our thinking. Um, and it's an interesting thing in that it, it works both ways. We both apply it to ourselves, i.e. I have to look in the mirror and say, yeah, you, you're the guy that tossed that little old lady from the lifeboat in a moment of panic. By the same token, what do we do to people who do certain things that we don't like? We stigmatize them forever. Um, simply because that's the way our, our ethical system works. We, we, I think most of us understand that guilt is not a tangible thing. But we have to apply it to people for our ethical system to work. It needs scapegoats. Our system requires a constant influx of new people for us to stand up on this dock and say, there, there's the bastard, there's the bad person. Um, again, that's what all popular morality is about. Who's the bad guy? 
um, is guilt that all encompassing that it can that it is something physical or something phenomenal at least that adheres to one that we can actually say there's so much of that substance or that property called guilt in you that we can say with certainty that you're not up to snuff in my opinion completely insane thinking but i never went on records as saying that I believe our civilization is sane. 